Hey guys, I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an easy to build survival house. And this house has two floors, with an upper level second level deck, and it overhangs the front of the house and it wraps around the side of the house. And this house even has a side porch area, and this porch is made out of campfire blocks. Now this build is broken down into seven steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this survival house. Also, this entire build project will require a 14 block by 11 block area spacing, and I marked my area with coarse dirt blocks, and you could do the same, and that way we know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's make the first floor walls. We'll need 46 oak logs, 70 strip oak logs, 3 oak doors, and 13 glass panes. To start, move back a space, then make a 4 tall log column. Then add 8 stripped oak logs next to that. Then add a 4 tall log column at the end. Then we can add 7 stripped oak logs to the side. Then add a 4 tall log column after that. Then we can add an 8 strip logs across the front. And a 4 tall column. Then 7 strip blocks in between. Then let's add 2 blocks to the side. Then 1 block. Then 2. Then 1. Then another 1. Then 2. Then let's add in glass panes. And we can add an oak log cross beam across the entire top. Then let's add a door at the left side of the wall. And make sure it's placed in the center. Then let's add two extra blocks. Then one extra block. Then two. And we can repeat. And then we can add an oak log columns along the top. Then let's add two blocks. Then alternate the pattern. And we can add two glass panes and an oak log column along the top. Then for the front wall, add in two oak doors. And then we can add in stripped oak log columns. And we can add glass panes in between. And then we can add an oak logs after that. Step 2. Next let's work on the floors and second level floor. We'll need 4 spruce stairs, 14 oak logs, 59 oak planks, and 38 oak slabs. To start, let's add oak logs at the third space over. And we can connect all the way to the front. And add in another beam over here. And we can replace the grass floor with oak planks. Also, we can add an oak planks under the door as well. And then from here, let's add an oak slabs. And we can add slabs in between the cross beams. And make sure the slabs are at the top half of the block. And then we can add in spruce stairs and extend up for a total of 4 treads tall.
Also, we can clear the room up above for head clearance. And then from here, we can add in lanterns. Step three, next we'll add in the second floor walls. We'll need one oak door, 50 stripped oak logs, 40 oak logs, and 20 glass panes. To start, let's add three logs on top of the corner. Then three over here. Then three towards the back and three in the last corner. Then let's add in a cross beam and wrap this one along the top. Then let's add in stripped oak logs along the front side. And make sure to leave openings for windows. Then on the other side, let's add in more stripped oak logs. And leave room for windows. And a door in the center. Then we can add in stripped oak logs and windows for the back as well. And then we can repeat filling in the last side wall as well. Step four, next up is the roof, and we'll need 27 stripped oak logs and 100 spruce stairs. To start, let's add stripped oak logs, then add three columns, and make each one two blocks tall. And let's repeat for the back side. Then let's add spruce stairs for the roof. And for the front overhangs, make sure to add upside down stairs along the front, and this will help add an extra detail. Then we can repeat for the other half. And then we can repeat for the other half of the roof, adding in more spruce stairs as well. Then we can add an oak strip log for the center ridge. Step five, next let's add in the side overhang area. And for this, we'll need 28 campfires and 25 spruce fence posts. To start, let's add in spruce fence posts at the side of the building and push them in one space. Then raise them to three posts tall. Then do the same on the back, moving in a space and raising to three lengths tall. Then leave two spaces in between the fence post, 
and raised to three lengths tall as well. Then we to add campfires on top, and this will make the roofing. And we can extinguish the campfire block with a splash potion. Or you could use a bucket of water instead, and this will help extinguish the fire. And then on this side of the house, we can add in spruce fence posts for railings. Step six, next was to add in the front overhanging porch, only 25 spruce slabs and 19 spruce fence posts. Now, this step is optional. However, I find this step to add in a lot of detail to the exterior of the house. And if you'd like to make it the same way I made mine, Let's start by adding in a fence post one space back from the side of the doors and make them three lengths tall. Then repeat for the other side. Then let's add nine more spruce slabs. Then let's add eight spruce slabs and start this one space inwards on the right side. Then let's add another slab under here and one over here as well, and this will double up under the post. Then let's add six slabs to the front. Then let's add spruce fence posts that wrap around the front and connect these with the side deck as well. Step seven, lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. But however, as always, I'll quickly show you how I did mine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out!